Hey guys, it's T with Green Owls Crafts and today we're going to do digital decoupage. So grab a photo, open Photoshop and play along. First we're going to open a new file. I'm using an 8x8 scrapbook page with 300 pixels per inch and a white background. Now you want to bring in your photo. You can do it any way that you're comfortable with. I'm using Mini Bridge and I'm just going to drag the photo onto the, to the background and drop it. And now we're going to resize and hit enter on your keyboard to select that change. With the move tool selected we're going to move it somewhere towards the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. And depending on your version of Photoshop that you're using, when you bring your photos in they can either come in as a smart layer and you can tell by this little icon here or they'll come in as a normal layer. I want to change this to a normal layer so I'm going to rasterize and I'm doing that because I'm going to make some changes to the photo later and I'll forget if I don't do it now. So the first thing that I'm going to do after that photo is I want to get a new layer or copy of it. So I'm going to press Control on the keyboard or Command if you're on Mac and J and that copies the layer. You can see in the layers palette now I have two. I'm going to select the bottom layer and Control on the keyboard and T or Command T if you're on Mac and I'm going to hold the Shift key while I grab this corner figure handle to drag it out larger and you want to bring it up to about the size you want the wood grain to be around your image. Now the wood grain in decoupage is just a board that's behind it. In rectangles I like to make them a little wider on the sides but that's up to you. Once you've got it the size that you want you can hit enter on your keyboard or the check mark to select that change and now we want to um, select this background layer um, by holding the control key or the command key on Mac and clicking that layer and now you get the marching ants around it. We're going to fill that with a wood grain by going to um, a filter and fibers or filter render and fibers. But before we do that let's talk about the colors that you're going to use. In wood tones you're going to need two shades of brown, a medium and a dark and I have those already selected. You can pick things from your photo, you can use different colors besides that to give it a painted look. So now we're going to go to filter, render, fibers and you can see that it's got kind of a texture here that could be hair, it could be um, wood tone, depends on your colors that you use and the settings for variance and strength. Variance is going to determine the length of the fiber. And I like to keep it around 15 for wood. And strength will determine how much definition there is on each um, hair or wood grain. And I keep it around 9 or 10 for wood. So um, 9 and 15 or somewhere around there. When you click randomize, these settings don't change, but it randomizes the pattern that you choose. So just click it until you find something you like. I like this one. I'm going to click OK. And now I've got a great wood tone um, filling my board around my giraffe. Now the other thing that I need to do on this giraffe or on this um, giraffe decoupage is to make my wood have some depth. To do that, I'm going to leave this selection around this and I'm going to go and put in an adjustment layer with a solid color and it's filling with the solid the darkest color that I have selected or I can choose um, and I think I want it just a bit darker and it started the layer above my wood but I want to put it below move it down come on move it down there we go <clears throat> now we want to make sure that we still have um, the move tool selected on our, men our tool menu bar and we're going to use the arrow keys on our keyboard and we're going to go down one and over one. One press of the key, not more. Now we're going to copy that layer with Control or Command J and we're going to move it down and over again and we're going to do that four times total. And then what we're going to do is on our layers palette combine those four layers. So click the first one to select it. Hold the shift key for the bottom one. Right click and merge layers. Now if I want my wood to be thicker than this, and usually decoupage wood is, I can copy this new merged layer and I can move it down four notches or three or whatever I want, but I've got up to four notches that I can move it to get that um, depth moving faster for me. Now once I've got it, the wood the depth that I want, I'm going to merge these two layers back. And let's look at the top layer of wood. The edges on decoupage are usually beveled to make them smoother so nobody gets splinters. Well, we don't want splinters on our digital either. So we're going to bevel that edge. So double click 
on your layers palette um, next to the name and we're going to go to bevel and emboss and you can see the changes are happening here we want to increase the size and soften because they're going to make that very smooth when they make our decoupage we're just leaving it at inner bevel um, and the only other thing I might change is to change from shadow mode from multiply to linear burn and then bring it down to about 20% visibility and click OK. And now instantly we have a nice beveled edge on our wood. Now we need to work on our photo because when I decoupage a photo onto a piece of wood, you guys did this in the 70s and 80s, right? When we did that, I like to have a border or frame around the photo, so we're going to hold the control here, the command on the Mac, and we're going to click on our photo layer again, making sure that it's selected. Remember, we rasterized it before, and now we're going to stroke that. So we're going to edit, stroke, we're going to choose a white color for our photo, and I'm going to leave it at 15 pixels and inside with an opacity of 100%. When I control D to deselect, you can see that it gives us a nice white frame, just like we would have printed our photo. Now it needs a little bit of a drop shadow. Everything does. So we're going to double click on the layer to bring up our um, layer style menu again. And we're going to just select drop, stat um, drop shadow, excuse me. And we're going to change it to linear burn bring our opacity down to about 45 to 50 percent and distance down to two and size at about eight so it'll spread just a little bit um, this gives us the look of this photo laying on top of the wood the last thing that it really needs we're going to go back in and bring in a nail head or a brad there are lots of them available and it dragged mine in. Didn't it bring it in? Oh, it's in the middle. There it is. Now you can resize that. Let's close this out. Zoom in on it. I'm scrolling with my wheel to zoom. You can zoom um, however you're comfortable with. We're going to move it up to the corner and we're going to do Control or Command again on the Mac and J to copy that and drag it over using the Shift key. We'll hold it exactly where the other was. I can merge these two, control J, and again hold the shift key and drag it down to the bottom of my image. And now you have a perfect decoupaged image. The last thing that I would do is to highlight all of these pieces, and this is just a little housekeeping, throw it into a folder together. rename it and that way if I need to move the thing it all moves together or I can rotate and then build the rest of my layout around it there you go I hope you enjoyed um, digital decoupage today and I want to see your projects so be sure to leave a comment and a link back to your blog so that I can see what you've done thanks for playing bye